guys in today's video I'm going to be talking about how I keep my hair straight how I wrap it and tips and tricks for yeah keeping your hair straight so that it doesn't get so frizzy and things like that um I did just finish washing and straightening my hair so that is why I am bare faced uh it just gets too hot oh wait I have my music on sorry about that yeah it just gets way too hot when I'm doing my hair so I don't put on makeup and today is also a lazy Sunday I'm doing lots of cleaning so excuse my appearance but it was requested that I show how I wrap my hair and and also some other people asked me basically how I keep my hair straight so um, I'm gonna show you how I wrap my hair in a second but let me show you the things that I use to keep my hair nice and straight and smooth the first is gonna be my heat protectant so I'm gonna link my straightening hair care routine down below as well as all of my favorite products which some of them I will show you today but a big part of maintaining uh, straight hair is to have it bone straight from the beginning. So this is my first day. I washed my hair today. My hair is very straight. It's very smooth. It's very silky. Um, I am relaxed. I get a relaxer. I'd say like once or twice a year, but there's no real formula that I use to time when I get a relaxer. It's just when I need it. I tend to go very long between relaxers though because I'm so used to being natural that I can deal with a couple of inches of new growth. It's no problem. So like I said, I'm going to leave my straightening routine down below. And I know that the sides of my head aren't matching because I just curled this side. So this has been up like in a bun. So you're going to want to start with a really good heat protectant so that you can get your hair really straight. That is essential to start with bone straight hair now another essential thing is to wrap your hair I'm gonna show you how I wrap my hair I wash my hair every two weeks I usually wrap my hair for about the first week to week and a half but when it starts to get too too greasy I don't wrap it I just take my satin or silk scarf and put it on the front of my hair and I'll wear my hair in like a ponytail or a bun just to protect my hair from breakage of the pillowcase and whatnot but um, when my hair is too oily when my scalp is real oily I don't tend to wrap my hair because I don't want to spread the oil around I want to keep it on my scalp so that's definitely another tip the other thing is that I use the Carol's Daughter Marguerite's Magic this is actually good for me for taming my frizz during week two when I'm not straightening my hair if my hair feels a little dry and frizzy I'll put this in the palm of my hands rub it together and smooth it from like midway down the shaft to the ends and I find that that helps get my hair nice and sleek but as far as my edges um I don't use any products to slick my edges down um my belief and this is just my belief is that any manipulation to that area whether you are using a a hard bore bristle of <laughs> whether you are using a hard bore bristle brush and using gels or creams whatever to me that's manipulation that is not necessary and I think that causes breakage so I don't tend to slick my edges down if um, if I notice that let's say I'm on week two and my edges are getting frizzy and my hair like let's say I, my hair sweated out a little bit from going on walks, exercising, what have you, I will just take a flat iron and straighten the perimeter of my head all the way around. That way I can wear my hair in a ponytail or in a bun and it'll still look sleek. But other than that, I don't use any products to lay my edges down, as you would say. I just, if they get puffy and frizzy, it is what it is. I don't too much worry about that. Um, so yeah, I use the Margarita Magic. I also use the Marula Daily Moisture. This is like a leave-in conditioner and heat protectant. And this is really good at laying down flyaways, which I do tend to have a lot of because just like anybody else, I do get some breakage around where I part my hair, things like that. So that also helps to keep my hair laid down. Anytime your hair is like laid down and smooth, it's gonna look a lot more straight. But I want to show you how I wrap my hair because that is a big, big part of keeping your hair straight. So like I said, I tend to wrap my hair mostly the first week right when I wash my hair and straighten it like it is now to about the next maybe half week depending on how oily my scalp is getting. Um, you can also use this technique when you exercise. When I was working out very heavily twice a day, I wrapped my hair and then I put one of these on. This is by First Line. It is the Wave Enforcer. I picked this up from CVS today 
It's not my favorite, but I usually get my little caps from eBay. It looks like this. It has a very thick band and it's not very stretchy. I don't really like that. The one I was previously using was like a stocking cap type of feel and I love that because it was very stretchy and this one, it was bought for convenience. So when you're working out, I would say, um, wrap your hair very tightly put something like this on like a cap and then put a moisture wicking hat on i will link the one that i have below i cannot find it but it's the nike dry fit one it's made of a material that's like a polyester so it's not cotton so it's not going to absorb moisture and it's really nice it's lightweight it keeps you cool if you're going to be running outside or anything like that so yeah let's get into how i wrap my hair take a wide tooth comb you can get this anywhere and i kind of just start from like the middle of my head like right here and i brush all the hair forward and i've been wrapping my hair for like <laughs> almost 20 years so I'm, i kind of have it down now so i brush all that forward so all the way around my hair is just falling everywhere then i take my paddle brush i will link the one i have down below kind of cute <laughs> so I take my paddle brush um you can like depending on how you wear your parts you can determine how you wrap your hair but because I tend to do a part going this way I wrap it this way but then this side of my hair is more prone to getting frizzy or sweating out but that's okay I just use my smoothing balms or tuck it behind my ear so I like to wrap the way my hair is falling on my face so if my hair falls on my face this way I wrap my hair this way so I'm going to start right here once again because this is how I'm going to wrap my hair. So I make like a little part and then I'm just going to start brushing my hair to smooth it out. And as I go all the way around, I'm going to turn. I'm just going to keep smoothing it until I get back to right where I started. And then I'm going to place a clip because sometimes that's where you can get your hair to start falling. So I'm gonna put a clip there and I'm gonna keep wrapping it around. And then I'm gonna reposition the clip. Okay, now the day after you wash and curl your hair, it's really, really easy to wrap your hair because your hair has a bump to it. So this just really stays in nicely because my hair was just curled. So now I would take the stocking cap. I don't know how this one's gonna work. <laughs> okay, and then kind of while you're doing this, if you put your clip in at the bottom, you can take it off. I'm not going to though. So when you're putting your cap on, I know I look like, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I know I look crazy. You kind of just want to take your hands under it and smooth your hair all the way around so that all the hair is laying down in the same direction. Just tucking it all under. And this is really what I do. I'm really particular about how I do stuff. I need my hair under my wrap to be like super, super tight. Okay, so now it's all under there. Another tip when you're wrapping your hair is I try to not get any of the hair onto my face or on my hairline. I tend to wrap it back here. So this is my hairline right here. I want my hair to be back here. So that if I do sweat while I'm working out or anything, it's not gonna too much bother the hair that's wrapped. Now, another tip when you are working out like let's say you just came in from a 45 minute jog or you've been at the gym keep your hair wrapped until you cool down <laughs> because if you take your hair out and you still have moisture in your scalp hair or on your body like from sweat it will get frizzy so um what i usually do is i come in from a walk or working out and then i take a shower i get ready and then i unwrap my hair just so that it has time to get re straight because your hair is gonna go back to how it was if it's wrapped very tightly so then you can go and put your scarf on this is just a mark jacobs scarf that i stole from my mother <laughs> so i just make it into a triangle and then I take the front piece like this, put that on the front of my head. I know I look so crazy right now. I cross it over in the back, bring it around in front, and then I put a knot in it. Once again, this is on my forehead, so I move that back, untuck my ears, 
and now you're ready so I would only put the scarf on if you're going to sleep so yes this is how I go to sleep with the scarf on my hair I'd rather look not so cute and have slicked hair than be cute and not have slicked hair so yeah that's what I do I also want to show you one more thing I have to go get it though now this is a little wet because I did just wash it because I didn't want to show you my headband in a dirty state but this is the Aqua Spa headband AQUIS I will link this down below I got this from Sephora many many years ago probably over five years ago but you can get this from like Ulta eBay just type in spa headband let me take this scarf off and unwrap my hair I don't want to look crazy the rest of the video and I actually have to go on a walk okay <laughs> just had to take that off so what I use this for is whenever I wash my face I put this on my hair and I push my hair back once again so that it's off of my forehead this way when I'm washing my face when I'm splashing water I'm not going to get my edges frizzy or sweated out or anything like that so this is really essential people also use these when they're getting their makeup done when they're doing their own makeup so I say everyone should get one of these so now I'm going to show you guys how I take my hair down just because um I'm not ready to wrap my hair for the night but so from this state you kind of just start brushing it and it falls and then I just brush it all out, flip it back. And voila, now my hair looks more voluminous. So that's also why I like wrapping my hair. It just keeps my hair having body and volume and um, I just think it looks nice. So yeah, I'm not gonna put another part in my hair, but it kind of just fell where my part was anyway. So yeah, those are all the tips I have for keeping your hair smooth and sleek and wrapping your hair, also working out, washing your face, everything like that. If I didn't touch on something, please let me know down below. I will get back to you. I also wanna say, I just went through my spam comments earlier today on YouTube sometimes your comments get marked as spam depending on I guess what you say in your comment or how many times you comment on the video so I try to go through every now and then and empty that out because a lot of the comments that get marked as spam aren't actually spam so if you ever look on my video and you don't see your comment or if I didn't respond it's most likely that either you said something really rude and I deleted the comment <laughs> or it went to spam because I usually try to respond to everybody if yeah if you say something so yeah I hope that video was helpful and I will list all the products and items down below I hope you guys have a good week and I will see you in the next one bye